First, uh, we talk about the, the makeshift off the offensive line. What do you think of Gono and uh, the first start from Hennessy? Yeah, you know, I'll have to watch, but, you know, I thought they, they did a good job. There's some really good interior tackles, uh, you know, for the Kansas City Chiefs and, and not easy guys to go against. Uh, and they held up, you know, so uh, I think both of them, you know, will have some things they'd like to improve for sure. But that's everybody. Uh, for the most part, on balance, I thought they did a nice job the entire day. You guys were finding a rhythm late in that second half. Do you guys do anything differently, make any adjustments to kind of get in that flow? No, I think we just, uh, you know, I think we, we did a pretty nice job the entire day. We just had uh, a few things that kind of got us off schedule, uh, whether it be penalties, uh, missed assignments that kind of put us behind the chains. And, and you know going against a good football team like that, they're going to be hard to overcome. I thought we did a better job of, of staying in front of the chains and, and – um, you know, executing on first and second down in, in the second half. On that last possession, it was a third and one. Gurley gets a couple yards with under a minute to go to give you guys a first down. Any thoughts, Matt, about taking a timeout there, stop the clock, or are you trying to get them off balance uh, as the clock continue to bleed? No, I, 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 you know, that's not my call, but I, I thought it was good just to keep them off balance. We had plenty of time. From where we were at on the field, uh, we had plenty of time. And, you know, we got three sets of downs in after that, and, had a really good chance for a touchdown uh, on a double move to Calvin, and we just didn't hold up. But, um, no, I, I thought we did fine there. We gave ourselves a chance. Many fans in all facets of the league, Matt, want their teams to have the best draft pick uh, available. That's all I think about right now. Can you explain how that contrasts with the mindset of players and coaches? Yeah, I mean, you understand that from the fans' perspective, but, you know, our job is to go out there and compete and, and win. And uh, that's what we get, you know, paid to do. And so, um, you know, it's it's disappointing. You know, you, you, you put out all the hard work in all week and uh, you go out there and, and give yourself a chance and, and you fall a little bit short. It's tough. What's your biggest takeaway in this game where you played so well to the defending champs only to have it come up that short? I think I think it's a great opportunity for guys to learn, number one, you know, what we're capable of, but also number two, how fine the line is in this league uh, between being, you know, 14 and one and being, you know, four and 11. Uh, it's not that much. And we, we've got to grow up and, and figure out how to not make mistakes uh, in critical situations, make the plays when we have our chances. And if we, we can do that, I think we can be a pretty good football team moving forward. Yeah, coach was telling us that, you know, uh, his takeaway is that you guys can compete and play with anybody in this league, but then you got to get over that hump, right, and win those type of games. That's what you're talking about, those fine points of, of getting over that hump? Absolutely. You know, and, and you never know when it's going to be the play. You know, uh, it's, it's not necessarily the last kick of the game or a third down on the last series of, of, of the ball game. There's a handful of different things that come up, whether we miss assignment or, or miss a play in the first half that, you know, affect the game, you know, just as significantly. And so uh, I think, you know, we've we, we've got to learn from those lessons and we've got to be better, you know, as a, as a whole moving forward. How surprised are you with Ku's wide right kick? And did you say anything to him afterwards? Well, I told him afterwards, the next time he's in that situation, he's going to nail it. And uh, to not doubt that for a second, he's, he's had a great year for us. He's been extremely consistent and uh, his confidence should continue to be at an all-time high. It's part of the game, and, and you got to move forward. What do you think about your defense today against Mahomes? I thought the defense played well. You know, it, it looked like they kept them out of a rhythm uh, most of the day and, uh, you know, gave us a chance at, at the end of the game. Were you pleased with the balance and the rushing attack today, Matt? I thought we ran the ball effectively for sure, you know, I think. Uh, and, and that helped. You know, that helped us eat up some of the clock, change field position at certain times and certainly slow down pass rush. And, uh, you know, I thought uh, for the most part, our, our run game was was effective. Well, you got the nickname Matty Ice for leading these fourth quarter comebacks. It hasn't gone the case this way, but it's just not on the quarterback. Obviously, you know, field goals made and we go on to overtime. Uh, but we look big picture between those Matty Ice comebacks in the fourth and what's transpired this year. Is there one or two things that kind of stand out, why it's not working out like we've seen in the past from you? Yeah, I think uh, it's, you know, it's, it's just – making a play here or there. And uh, it's really not much more than that. And so, you know, at different times, there's been different guys, but, um, you know, we've, we've got to find a way to make the place. And again, you know, it goes back to that, how fine the line is between wins and losses and between great teams and teams who are out of the playoffs. And uh, the great teams find ways to, to get the job done and they make the plays when they're there.
Many of the so-called experts as we wrap up, Matt, had you guys losing by double digits, but obviously that wasn't the case. Does it say a lot about the the effort, the mentality of, of this team? You guys are never packing it in. Yeah, I think, you know, that's one constant that has been here, uh, you know, this entire year is is it's a group that is going to fight. It's a group that's going to play hard uh, and compete every week. And, uh, you know, from from that standpoint, I think everybody can ple uh, be pleased with uh, the type of guys we have in, in, in our locker room.